Welcome back to the Speed Freaks Pitch. You got Statman, Lug Nuts, Crash Gladys. My name is Kenny Sargent. You guys can email us, pitcrew at speedfreaks.tv as we go live on the Freak Radio Network and, of course, on Speed Channel Monday nights. Now here in the Speed Freaks Pits, what this cat does is just stupid big. And I mean that in a good sense, Kirby. <laughs> He's a three-time U.S. National Aerobatics Champion and will be competing in the Red Bull Air Race World Series in Reno coming up in September during the National Championship Air Races. He's going to Budapest, Hungary for round two of the RBAR World Series. What do you think, you're a Aerobatics champion. Would you please welcome Kirby Chambliss. Hey, happy to be here. How about that? Coming in the Speed Freaks pits, we, that's what we do here in the Freak Nation, is we span the globe. Power boating, open wheel, motocross, drag racing, and now we got a cat that does crazy things about 20 feet off the ground at how fast? Well, we're doing about 200 miles an hour sometimes on the track. And, and again, you're how far above the ground? Yeah, 10 feet, 20 feet. It's great. I mean, we're pulling 10 Gs around corners, going really 10 fast. 10 Gs? Things going by. Oh, and it's wonderful. 10 Gs? 10 Gs. That's a lot. Well, it's a lot, but I mean, that's what it takes in order to win on this course. You, It's very, very exciting, not only to myself, but also the spectators. It's like Formula One racing. But with the element, you got a vertical element. It's like Michael Schumacher going down on the track and doing a spin and then having to continue on the track. It's a, it's really a neat thing. Probably but some of the most forceful G forces in motorsports are drag racers when they take off and then a reverse G when mm -hmm. they pull the chutes. Those are only five or six compared to your 10. And I think five or six is huge. Yeah, I mean, my, I weigh 200 pounds, so it's like my body feels like it weighs 2,000 pounds when I'm pulling 10 Gs. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be seven foot tall, you know, now I'm only 6'2. So that's the surface of the ground. Does that have an impact when that air wake, when you get a lot of other airplanes out there, if you have hills or so, do you have to all get the air bouncing off the ground into your plane? Well, there are ground effects out there, but yeah, it, there's some elements to it like that. But like I said, it's just the things, the sensation of speed is unbelievable. We have a <laughs> vertical element where you're going straight at the ground. Last second, you have to pull out in order to get through these obstacles oh. without hitting these have obstacles. Have you ever peed your pants? Oh, yeah, you know, okay. when I was just, two. I just no, 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 oh, okay. <laughs> you're going no, down yeah, vertical. Yeah, yeah. No, not at all, no, it's You've never fantastic. left a nugget or anything. No. I'm a dude, no. man. Look at Skippy, we talked a little bit earlier in the, in the hallway here, and you also have another job for a commercial airline, right? Correct. So.